Good day, this is Josh. Virtual reality has grown into a bigger and bigger industry nowadays. This astonishing technology has been applied to many aspects such as entertainment, healthcare, tourism, and even academic usage. Moreover, a lot of literature or cinematic works choose virtual reality as their main theme. But you may wonder, what has virtual reality become recently? Or you may ask, what will it be in the possible future? For example, can a normal person like me become a hero in a virtual fantasy world? Or can I have a virtual girlfriend instead of a real one? In order to solve my question, I have gotten into contact with a young, talented virtual reality software developer, Joseph Chen. He is only a 20 years old college student from the Department of Computer Science in the National Taiwan University. However, he has now participated in the indoor virtual reality skydiving project as a main developer. So I'm going to give him an interview, hoping to get lots of information of the nowadays condition and the future outlook from the talented young man. Oh, uh, okay. Sorry. So because sorry, this video sorry. have copyright music, so we have a guest, Ethan, to talk <laughs> with me. Hi, I'm Ethan. Hi. So, which team did you support? Do you support? Which team? World Cup. In ah, uh, of course, it's Spain. 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 Why? I love Ramos. Ramos. Ramos, Ramos is a, is a, a beast. <laughs> He's is an a edgy boy. Is a I, I, I don't like him. He's energetic. Do you like England? No. Japan? No. Why? Do, why, why do you like England? England? England is good. No. They have Harry Kane, Daily Ali. No. No? Harry is, Harry is not, not, not Harry Kane is gay? Yes. Okay. England is all gay. Gay teen. <laughs> gay teen. <laughs> How about <laughs> Portugal? Port gay? Yes. Ronaldo. Oh, you hate Cristiano. I don't like Ronaldo. Ronaldo is so do I. I. I don't like him. He falls every time. Uh, he rolls. He rolls <laughs> on the ground. Yeah. yeah. He rolls. Hey, that is this video. It's oh, like skydiving. Yeah, it looks cool. So, so it's a real skydiving. Or no, it's a virtual reality skydiving. So, oh, so so the image is a virtual. So, so this this one is in the software. Oh, so yeah, wow. yeah, it's, it's like this. So in this device, you can yeah. see that everything. Wow, this is really cool. Um, ac but actually, the developer asked me to try <laughs> this in Taichung, but oh. I, 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 I didn't have any time. So the device is in Taichung? Yeah, it's your hometown. Oh, we're, we're in Taichung. Bullet city. We're in Taichung. Hey, you're back. <laughs> we're in Taichung. That's my roommate. Where? I don't know. You can ask him. So, okay, so. Wow. Okay, we're almost done. Almost there. <laughs> hey, Twenty seconds I left. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Hey. hey. Let's play <laughs> more. Okay. Oh. So England will will be the nah. champion. No, no. England will be the champion. Oh. Now we're interviewing the talented VR game developer. His name is Joseph Chen. So, Joseph, would you mind to introduce yourself to our audiences? Um, I'm Joseph. I am a junior student of the CSIE building at NTU. I major in computer science and I recently have a major project on virtual reality. Oh, impressive. Joseph, can you briefly explain to us about your work? Um, I have a sponsor in the industry called New Fly. It has a vertical wind hall as known as um, indoor skydiving. Indoor skydiving. My job is to make a virtual experience for their indoor skydiving okay. to simulate um, real world skydiving. Wow, impressive. So, how much time did you spend on this work? I have managed to work um, here and there along through the semester, along with my other classes. A semester, so it's like six months? 
Or five, shorter? Five or four or five months or so. Wow, so that's really quick of you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, would you tell us the tool and developing pro program you are using? Mm, I use Unity the most. Unity. Since, um, it is mostly free and there are um, many aspects and there's a good community for developing softwares. Okay, so Unity. So it's free. It's free. So and, um, C Sharp is the main programming language. To C Sharp. Program. Okay. So in your opinion, how do you regard the uprising virtual reality industry? Hmm, I believe the industry is somewhere between the introduction stage and the full stage. So you mean in the product life cycle? Uh, yes, in the product life cycle. It is surely has a, um, a great upgrowing um, future. But because of the artificial intelligence uh, trend, yeah, sure. There is some competitiveness between the two industries. So, do you consider the artificial intelligence and virtual reality are going on a conflict, or they are just supplement? They are benefit to each other. I think that they are supplement. That, I mean, there is conflict. Some some phases are conflict, but. Um, in the white view, it is um, the future of human discrimination. Okay, so you, so some development in VR might benefit artificial intelligence. And artificial intelligence may benefit VR. Okay, so. that's a really nice conclusion. So, can you tell us your expectation of virtual reality in the future? For example, will it become a more interactive system or it will even more make human extinct? Mm, virtual reality will definitely um, develop into another world that humans could live in. Mm -hmm. For example, you may uh, live in the real world for a whole day and go into the virtual reality world. So it's, so it's like a second life chance? Yes, it's like Just like the, um, the movie Ready Player One. Yes, definitely. Okay, so, so do you have an other opinion on this topic? Mm, for example, when the world is very dangerous and humans might get extinct, then they might transfer their um, thoughts and their minds into a virtual reality world or something sci-fi like that. Oh, so it's like kind of, uh, kind of utopian idea, right? Uh, yeah, I'm a sci-fi fan, and utopian idea, I really like it. You're fascinated by it. So what is the most unforgettable incident, no matter it is a positive or negative one, during the procedure of developing your work? It is definitely the first time I've tested my software in the actual environment. Mm -hmm. So, how do you feel? Do you feel ecstasy or fulfillment? Mm, fulfillment. There was definitely a touch of it. But mostly it is exciting, fascinating, and a little bit embarrassing. What do you mean by embarrassed? Um, because it's your own project. It's like reading out your novel in front of everyone. Okay, so it's like accidentally open your front camera and see your face? Uh, no, I've never done that in my but, life. But I've tried it. Yeah, it's very embarrassed. Okay, okay if that is so. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, maybe it's like that. What is the goal of being a VR developer? Being a VR developer, I will devote anything to make a virtual reality world more close so it's like a human life simulator. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm going to make it just as if you are in real life. Okay. I hope you can do this because I'm interested in living in the virtual reality world. Do you think that the software developed by the game company Illusion, the VR girlfriend, 
a milestone of interactive virtual reality software. I personally haven't used the um, software before. I think you should try it. <laughs> I believe that um, this software that bridges um, the VR mate and people's buildings um, together is exactly a glimpse of the future. Okay, thank you for your sharing. No, thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, thanks for Joseph sharing with his experience with us. I hope in the future he can become a very successful VR game developer. Thank you. In this interview, Joseph gave us a detailed future outlook over virtual reality. I think it is really incredible that he can reach such an achievement in his young age. So I hope Joseph can fulfill his dream very soon and I hope I can have a uh, adorable VR girlfriend in the future. So this is Josh, I hope you will like my video and I'll see you next time. So let me ask you a question, do you like 2D cat girls? I believe I am born to produce 2D cat girls. 